Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. So I want to test those four resins again, like I just shown in the intro. And I'm starting with the Mastercast resin because I wanted to see again, you know, how the web effect will it will look like when I pour with the four different resins. So I mixed some mica powder, is the Fuchsia from Etta Art. And then I'm pouring clear resin, clear Mastercast resin into my mold. The Mastercast resin is a thick resin. It's a one-to-one -one resin. And um, it has a working time from around about 40 minutes. Yeah, circa. So now I'm taking my heat gun and I'm just popping some bubbles which are trapped on the surface. And I just try to pull out some bubbles which are in my mold which are on the bottom of my mold so I get rid of them. Then I'm taking my white and the white is a mixture of the white pigment drops from Etta Art and also the interference rose. And I mixed my white here very opaque. I will later um, mix my white a little bit softer for the ultra cast resin but I, I'm going to tell you then. So I poured my white resin also around the rim and then I'm taking just the leftover of my fuchsia and I'm also pouring this around and then I'm just mixing up or I mixed up some glitter and my glitter I will show you in a second will be the fire peach neon no the fire peach Chameleon flakes from Etta Art. They are glitter flakes and they are very beautiful and I thought this matches very well with my colors. So yeah, I just try to get the center, sometimes not so easy. And by the way, the mold I'm using here is the small round disc mold from Molds and Shapes. It's a tray mold. So now there's a time lapse. And you can see how the resin is moving. And the Mastercast resin was moving very slowly. So I was, of course, also a little bit afraid it would not pull through the center that, yeah, that the center wouldn't be closed. So at the end, I also used a tiny bit the heat gun so the center would be closed. And this is the next day I can demold and you see um, I'm just explaining there about my center and I'm very curious about how this one is going to turn out. So let's have a look. And look at this. It's a very delicate um, web effect and it's interesting, there is the fuchsia in the web effect outside and inside a little bit of the white and I achieved those crackle effects and I really think it looks very beautiful, very delicate. So yeah, this is the Mastercast resin and then I'm going further with the Ultracast resin and I'm doing exactly the same thing. I mixed my um, mica powder, the fuchsia, in the same way. Of course, I'm never measuring grams for the powder, but I made sure it's rather the same ratio. Then I'm taking my clear resin, and you can see the ultra cast resin is a much thinner resin. It's a medium viscosity resin, a two to one resin, and I'm pulling or I'm pouring everything into my mold. I'm also scratching a little bit my cup so that my mold is rather full. Then I'm taking care of the bubbles which are trapped on the bottom. I Do I take the heat gun? I'm not quite sure now. Yes, I'm also taking the heat gun to pop some bubbles. And then I'm taking my white mixture in a second. And I mixed my white not as opaque like with the Mastercast. I used only five drops of the white and a little bit of the interference rose. 
And yeah, I'm doing practically the same thing using my white, pouring this around the edge, then using my leftover of my um, mica powder. And then I'm adding again the glitter, the fire, fire peach. I needed to read again. I keep forgetting those glitter names. But this is going to be in my center. Yeah, there I messed a little bit, but you can easily push it over with your popsicle stick or with your dotting tool. And yeah, I used a little bit more of the glitter. And then I'm almost done with the glitter. And then I can torch it a little bit and I can... Yeah, let my resin do its magic. And here is again the Mastercast piece. And now I also used a little bit the heat gun just to activate. And you can see it's moving much faster. It was really moving much faster. But then at a certain point, it didn't want to move anymore. And this is new for me for the Ultracast resin. Normally, it smooths though um, so perfectly to the center, but this time it just didn't want. So I used my heat gun. I gently um, blow a little bit around my mold and you see it. <laughs> it closed. So anyway, time for the molding. It's the next day again. And let's have a look for the effects here. And look at this. I really love it. I mean, it closed more towards the center and the crackles are, or the crackles, the web effect is not as divine, but I love it. So, number three, and this is, let me think, the biocast. So, again, I have my foxia. I mix it the same way. I going along the edges. Then I'm taking my clear resin, I'm filling up my mold and just make sure I use all my clear resin, pushing out my fuchsia color like I did with the other two pores. And then again, I have my white mixture and the white I mixed with nine drops of the pigment drops and a little bit of the interference rose. But also here, I'm also using the heat gun just to pop some bubbles on the surface. So you see, I'm doing practically the same thing. If it's, it's, I would say 95% the same way I'm pouring. Of course, you cannot pour 100% the same way. There are always little um, differences. But I try to be as accurate for all the resins um, to pour them in the same way. And I think you see it. So I popped all the bubbles and now I'm taking my white mixture and again I'm pouring around the edges on top of my fuchsia. Doing it here. And then after I've done this, I'm taking my left over of the fuchsia I'm pouring around as well also try to be accurate I'm not 100% accurate but well <laughs> I guess it's normal and then I'm taking again my torch and the fire peach glitter flakes putting them into the center. I hope this video is not too boring for you, but I thought I'd just go with exactly the same products, just a different resin. And again, I made a little bit of a mess here. I'm just putting my glitter with a dotting tool to the center so everything is fine. And then yeah, there was a hair in my mold. This happens because we have a cat and sometimes, yeah, there's a hair in the resin piece. But anyway, I got it and I torched my piece a little bit and now there's going to be the next time lapse. And I activated again a little bit with the heat gun 
and the um, biocast resin was really moving very um, slowly but steady it was keep on moving keep on moving and yeah i'm sometimes helping it a little bit you see it with the heat gun but it was really doing a nice job and you see it closed so this is the next day time for demolding again and i'm very curious about these effects and look at this it's very similar to the mastercast resin but i think um, the striation the web effect is even more divine it's uh, very fine and it's a mixture of the um, fuchsia and the white. So, and now the fourth one, and this is the top coat resin. And again, I'm pouring my fuchsia color around the edge, taking my clear resin, which is not so clear, but I explained it in my last video. Again, I didn't put it on the um, heating or into hot water, but you may not worry with the um, top coat resin, it will clear up. So I'm pouring this into my mold. Then I'm taking my white mixture and I mix this also the same way like I did with the Biocast and the Mastercast with nine drops of the pigment drops and a little bit of the interference rose. Then I'm taking the leftover of my fuchsia just around the edge again and I can take my glitter flake mix the fire peach and again I made a mess. <laughs> See I'm quite constant with my glitter mess and it's in the center and then I can let my resin um, work but I'm first taking care of the center. I am taking probably the heat gun again to activate a little bit, but you see I'm very careful. I'm not blowing it around like crazy. I just activate it a little bit. And then again the time lapse and you can see what the resin is doing, how it's moving. And you can also see it's getting clearer. So yeah, I was taking in between a little bit the heat gun to help it move but the resin really got clear during its moving and you see it's no problem when it's a little bit milky. So, and this again the next day and I'm quite curious how this one is going to turn out. So, let's have a look. And look at this. This made a beautiful crackle effect at the edge and I love the web effect with those little um, dotties. And you can really tell all four resin make beautiful web effects, but all in a different way. So with this little end video, I love and leave you. I thank you for watching and I'm looking forward to your comments. Take care, guys. Again, thanks for watching. Bye bye.